Hello y'all, so I'm Tina, and this is my first ever YouTube video. Um, I am really excited, because I feel like the mid-year free time tag will like, display the kind of books I like to read, give some favorite authors and some favorite books that it'll just show, it'll just show all those things. So I feel like that would be a great first video. Also, uh, Vivian from the Fig Tree Boutique uh, tagged me in this, um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna tag her or link her down below, probably both, but I don't know how that works so let's just like get into this okay so i have the kind of stuff written over here i have um like reach forward to make sure the phone doesn't go off um then i have stuff right down so i can know what prompts are next <laughs> okay so i might reach over there i think there's 14 questions so the first question is best books you read so far in 2023 now i have two books for this most of them i have multiple books um i think most people have multiple books so, I have a pile of books here for all the books, but I, I don't think I, if I could show them, they'll be backwards. Well, I was wrong. I thought because I was filming front facing that it would reverse it and it would be backwards, but they're not. I'll know for next time and I won't have to take screenshots of every single book and paste it on screen. Just put an image of what they are right there. Okay, so the first book on this is, um, the first book on this is The Liar by Nora Roberts, and... I read this book, I think, at the end of May. Or I think it was my last book in May. No, it was my last book in June. Okay, there you go. It was my last book in June. Um, and yeah, I am I really enjoyed it. It was, I think it was my first Nora Roberts that was like a thriller or like a suspense book. She writes a lot of different types of romances. Like, most of her books are, she writes a lot of different types of romance. And so, I think it was my first suspense from her. And I loved it. It was amazing. It had elements of a thriller. It had elements of a really, really sweet romance. And then it's like a book about self-discovery. A book about like relationships. It just had so many different elements to it. And I really loved it so much. Um, the main thing I feel like was that it was, it was kind of like two completely different vibes. A woman realizing that her dead husband had been abusing her for years. And the amount of manipulation he was doing to her. And kind of what he was actually doing behind, kind of behind the scenes without her knowing. Um, and then and her slowly realizing how much of a liar he was. Um, and then her also kind of reconnecting with her family, coming home, getting back reacquainted with her small town. And her whole family kind of being around, their, being around her daughter for the first time because she wasn't really allowed to, she wasn't, she wasn't really allowed to have interaction with them because of her husband. So that but also a romance too so she's falling in love with this really sweet guy so yeah it was it was absolutely perfect okay then my second favorite my, my other favorite i have is lemon drop dead by amanda flowers this is the sixth book in the amish candy shop series and it is so good the series is absolutely amazing it is so sweet and it is so sweet because it's candy <laughs> but it's also sweet because it is it's just about a girl who's like reconnected with her who's like around her grandparents and um she is helping she's helping her grandparents around because she's a, she's a chocolatier and she's helping them in their candy shop um and they're Amish and she is not she's not an Amish character but her grandparents and majority of the other other characters in the series um except for her love interest and her love interest's mother um majority of the other characters in the series are Amish um and she's not and it's very interesting okay so next thing is best the best sequel you read so i have when the grits hit the fan by maddie day this is the fourth book in the country store mystery series and this woman who i think she buys the country i'm not sure this woman has a country store but it's also half like a vintage bakery or vintage cooking items which is like it's it's so cool it's so cool i don't there's not like a ton of detail about it but occasionally, you know, it might be the murder weapon that might be able to focus in. It's very fun um, to kind of see occasionally, you know, the glimpses of those things. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it was a great sequel. It was the best book in the series so far, and it was a five star. And it made me realize how much I love not only the series, but also the author. So, yeah. Okay. A new release you haven't read yet, but want to. So, um, my one for this is... Fatal Fudge Swirl by Mary Allen. Um, this is this is the third book in the Ice Cream Shop Mystery series. Um, the Ice Cream Shop Mystery series. And it is the first book was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. But this but book two was not as good. Um, it wasn't bad, it just there were elements I didn't like. Um and also 
the ice cream on the cover was not in the book. Okay, I wanted mint. I wanted them to talk about mint chocolate chip ice cream, but it was not a part of it. I bought mint chocolate chip ice cream so I could eat it during the book, and it didn't talk about it. What's the point if you're not gonna mention it? Rocky Road is a very crucial part of book one, and it's not in this book. And I don't understand why. It was also a part of book two as well. I didn't understand that, but really excited for book three. Hopefully, it is better than book two. Probably won't be as good as book one because book one was perfect. I'll probably read it around October because it is halloween or spooky season themed the next question is most anticipated release for the second half of the year for this i have baking spirits bright by sarah fox this i'm going to talk about book one in the next question i do believe it's the next question um my feelings about book one but i'm excited for this book um the series is very fun it's like set in like it's set in vermont but the town is like Ven venice is that what it's called i'm pretty sure the town i could be wrong of like italy Venice of Italy. <laughs> it has like like canals with water and you travel by like gondola and like canoes. That is really fun. That is so fun. When I heard that I was like, that's so fun. The main character is also a chocolatier, which is even more fun. <laughs> I'm really excited about this book. It's gonna be Christmas themed. It's coming out in October. I don't know when exactly, but it's coming out in October and I'm planning on reading it for Christmas. So I'm excited about that. Biggest disappointments of the year. <laughs> um we have Six Sweets Under by Sarah Fox, which is the first book in that series I just mentioned. Um, it is just, it is, it's not a bad book. And it also goes along with another book that I have the exact same feelings about, with Clammed Up by Mary Allen. Here's the thing. <laughs> they both were, they both were really enjoyable books. They were four stars. They were decent. They were nice. I liked them. But I expected them to be, I expected both of them to be absolute favorites of all time and best books I've ever read five stars perfect amazing and when I read them I was disappointed by number one not how good they were they just weren't they weren't I wasn't immediately like this is perfection and number two they lacked some things I think could have made a cozy like could have made it more cozy um because they are cozy mysteries I don't think there's enough chocolate details um in six suits under um but I also think that there was not there was there was a lot of stress and like kind of chaos in clam dove and that's why it wasn't as cozy for me also too much family drama in a clam dove not in a fun way but in like a stressful exciting way so yeah okay next question so next one is biggest surprise and my answer to this is gift of gift of i'm gonna just gift of gift of the magi by o henry or gift for the magic i'm not sure i think it's gift of the magi this was like a short story i had to read for school and all of the other short stories I had in school were absolute garbage. Um, they were awful. I hated them so much. This book had romance. It had happily ever after in the romance. It had adorableness. It had love. Sorry, I need to go delete stuff from my phone to make me have more storage. <laughs> okay, it was, a, it was a good book that I wasn't finding that I was expecting to hate it like every other book, um, that my school made me read. Um, it was a short story. It was like took me 10 minutes to read but still i was about to hate it and i didn't hate it i loved it new favorite author um is the next question okay so maddie day um i mentioned her before i absolutely loved um absolutely loving the contrast or mystery series she's coming up with a new series um i think in the in october um and i'm really excited for that but also she has another series that i'm gonna be starting like in a couple like, a couple days i'm starting to read the first couple chapters i didn't love it but <laughs> um it is what is it called um murder on cape cod um it's like a book cape cod bicycle store kind of themed i'm ex i'm excited to read it um even though i didn't love it the first time i read the couple chapters but i think i'll like it more i need to take a break from it so yeah okay newest fictional crush so i have two answers for this i have three but two um i just finished outlander today so jamie from outlander um but Vivian, the person who tagged me in this, I told her about if I can mention him, and she said, don't. She said, he's mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and just say Claire. We're just gonna say Claire. I'm just keep keep, the, keep this book, keep this book in this tag, and keep this book in this part of the tag. We're just gonna say Claire, okay? Because I also have a crush on her. So we're just gonna go Claire. Go both of them technically, but Claire, okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then Shelby from The Liar by Shelby from The Liar. That is the main character liar. I just think she's just such a good she's she's such a fun character. She is such a good mother. She is just like such a such an amazing read about her. And yeah. 
Also, the hero's descriptions of her are great. So, the, the, the way the hero, like, describes her and the way his description of when he's trying to her is, like, so perfect and so cute. And I just absolutely love her so much. Newest favorite character. So, I'm not going to say any more details other than this character's name. I'm not going to say why. I'm just not going to say any other than the character's name, the book series they're from. Which I'm going to mention twice other than that. I mentioned it before. And I'll mention it again, the, the series. Um, but I'm going to say the character's name and the series they're from. And that's it. Okay. Hannah from the Amish Candy Shop series by Amanda Flower. Okay. Next favorite character. <laughs> Next new favorite character is Ethan Quinn from Rising Tides by Nora Roberts. Um, it is the second book in the Chesapeake Bay saga. And... I guess I'll tell you what the book is about, so I'll tell you in the next question. I can tell you now. I'll tell you what the book is now. Okay. So, Rising Tides is the second book in the Chesapeake Bay saga. I think I already said that. But regardless, okay. Um, and basically, um, it's about these three adoptive brothers who, since they've grown up, they've kind of spread out and just kind of, they've, they've all kind of separated as they've grown up. Um, but their father is dying, and so they're coming home for his death. Um, and... Their father's kind of last wish is for them to take care of and like make their own basically their new foster brother the new little boy he's fostering um and it is it's just it's about them like coming back together and there's also a romance each book has a different romance and the first book is one of the brothers with the social worker um and who is kind of dealing with this case and it's it's very interesting it's very emotional there is so many trigger warnings in it um i wasn't expecting it to get that like graphic and have such a sensitive subject matter so um it deals with lots and lots and lots of different kinds and lots and lots of different graphic depictions of child abuse child violence so if you like i would recommend looking at the trigger warnings for that if you need them you can ask me about them um i would definitely i would definitely give trigger warnings if someone needed them um so just let me know if you need trigger warnings let me know um because it's a great series but even just at least to be prepared because it is very shocking how graphic and how how much of an extreme subject matter it gets mentioned i was not expecting that i just love this character i love the way he helps his little brother um and kind of is he's the one who relates to him the most because his his trauma kind of falls in the same lines as his brothers and he just he really helped him with it okay so next thing is a book that made you cry um I haven't had any books that made me cry this year. I'm gonna do like books that made me really upset. So I have Rising Tides by Nora Roberts, obviously. Um, this didn't make me cr like I said, none of the books made me cry, but it was extremely graphic and it was very just like shocking and upsetting. And the way the little boy felt about himself because of the childhood he went through, uh, because of the abuse he had kind of experienced, and the way Ethan felt about himself was extremely very sensitive, very difficult to read. Um, the liar. As well, I talked about that before. Um, obviously, very sensitive subjects. The worst of all of them um, would be um, Outlander by Diana Gavaldon. I don't think I said that before when I mentioned Outlander. Um, I don't know. I did not. Um, but this one, there is a lot of um, violence, and so if you need trigger warnings, maybe just maybe just even learn, like just to. I would recommend looking at the trigger warnings for this because it is extremely violent on very many accounts um to jane to clay to side characters to family members i'm not saying it is like a horror book what i'm saying is, is if you're expecting a sweet romance i was <laughs> you're gonna be very shocked when it doesn't turn out to be a sweet of romance with lots of different sensitive subject matters okay yeah next question great segue um would be uh, a book that made you happy um love the order of this books can be deceiving by jen mckinley this book was really good this book was five stars it was the first time i had ever given a cozy mystery first book in the series five stars this was the most amazing first book in the series i'd ever read in a cozy series i've ever read um yeah um book two and book three were not as good but they weren't like purposely amazing um but i'm gonna end up reading book four I love the characters, love the series, love the setting, love everything about it. So, yeah. So, we three more questions left. I do believe three more questions left. Hopefully, my storage will last three more questions. Okay. Um, okay, so this is really simple. Um, favorite book to adaptation? I don't have anything this year. I haven't 
watched any this year. I don't really, I'm not really a movie person, so I don't really watch any this year. I do have favorites in general, but not from this year. Most beautiful book you bought this year. Um, so I have two. I'm going to be showing them physically, even though they will be backwards. Um, I'll put a picture of the cover first, and then I will show you the copy in person. So Outlander by Diana Gavilon, the first edition copy. I found this at Goodwill for 99 cents, and I wasn't expecting that because my Goodwill has not been having good books for like months, and then this one, I was like, this is perfection. So this is interesting that I'll put this up. I absolutely just love it. It's so gorgeous. It's so pretty, and I just, it's so pretty. I love it so much. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a first edition copy. It doesn't have the first edition, like, typical marking on the copyright page um but i looked up the isbn and it is it says it's a first edition copy so i don't know that i don't know what that means but hopefully it's a first edition copy i just think it's cool it's old regardless like it's it's clearly old regardless also the cover is also regardless so okay next book is half baked murder by emily george i'll put the cover up so you can actually properly see it yeah so just my copy it's so beautiful it's so gorgeous i love it i love it so much um it's so pretty um it's a also great book like both of the books are amazing they're both working five stars um it is pink and yellow which are my two favorite colors pink and yellow and then it has little highlights of green which are a color that makes pink pop so i love this cover so much it's it's one of the most beautiful covers i've ever seen in my life probably my favorite some of my favorite covers i own like probably okay we are on the last question i have what books do you need to read by the end of the year so I'm going to do more of kind of, not like I need to finish them for something specific, like a book club or something like that, but more of like a, I want to, and I, I need to get these books done because I need to be read. I'm excited about them. So Peanut Butter Panic by Amanda Flower. Um, This is the seventh book in the Amish Candy Shop series. I'm super excited about it. And I cannot wait to just get back into this. I'm hoping the series goes back to its roots and starts killing people with poisoning because there hasn't been a poisoning one in a while. So yeah. And then Blood Magic by Nora Roberts. It is the third and final, it's the third book in a series. I don't know how to say their last name. I don't know how to say the series name um, because of the family's last name. So I'm not going to say it, but it is an amazing series. The first two books are really, really fun and really just perfect. Um, it's also very like fallish or like on autumnal, autumnal, however you say it, autumnal. It is very autumnal autumnal i don't know it's very like fall vibes um and it's great so yeah um i'm really excited for this book and if i had read this book both main characters would definitely be on my newest fictional crash list because you've been kind of awaiting this book for forever because it, it's a couple that's in the first two books and you just wanted them to get back together because they were together it's like it's like a it's a second chance romance because they were together as teenagers and broke up um before the series started like years and years before the series started okay so that's it um thank you for watching i'm planning on maybe doing a vlog maybe doing a vlog um kind of towards the end of the month probably reading only books i physically own for two weeks or for like half a month um so yeah i'm probably gonna edit i'm thinking i might do that um but we'll see thank you so much for watching and i hope the rest of your day or evening or whatever time it is for you when you're watching this hope the rest hope hope you're doing really well and bye bye